What's up everybody, it's uh, Dave from BetSum.com and today I'm going to go over uh, some of my NBA uh, Daily Fantasy Tuesday lineups for November 3rd. We'll start with point guards. First I have uh, Rajan Rondo uh, at 6,000. Uh, he's had a couple good last games and uh, I think he's just a triple-double waiting to happen. He's still at a great price and his minutes are going up. Uh, next we have uh, Williams at 5,700 getting just under about 30 points uh, he was only playing about 22 minutes so it's a great points to minutes ratio and uh, he played 28 minutes last game and I think he'll be uh, he should be playing a lot more as the uh, games go up so or as the games go by so it's a low price for a high floor and decently large ceiling here uh, and last but not least we have Drew Holiday for 5,000 uh, it's a great price for a starting point guard who's capable of having huge nights, and he's playing a lot of minutes lately, so I really like him at that price. Shooting guards, we have um, Butler for 7,700, uh, who's averaging 34 minutes and 39 fantasy points a game. So I have no problem paying for high floor shooting guards, especially when playing this well. Um, sometimes shooting guards are seem to sink my lineups personally, so I don't mind paying for them. Uh, we have Aladipo for 7,500, who's having a great season so far. Uh, great first few games. Uh, he's coming off of a triple-double, and I think he's worth paying for, especially at this position. As far as a uh, gamble, we have Young here at 4,100, who's only getting about 20 minutes uh, a game, but his coach says that uh, this number should be going up soon. And uh, he's their best shooter, so he's a good gamble, and he's been getting some decent fantasy points even with those low minutes. So let's move to small forwards, where we have uh, Bainham at 6,800. Uh, this guy does everything but shoot. Or this guy does everything, including shoot threes. Uh, he's getting 35 minutes a game, so he's always got a whole, uh, high floor because of that. So uh, next we have Gallinari at 6,400, and uh, this guy's capable of huge nights as he does everything. Um, you know, I assume a few times he's going to get at least 50 plus, and uh, he's getting some really good minutes. I love him at this price, and I love his matchup tonight. So at power forwards we have Dirk uh, 6,600. Uh, this guy's just a great spot for a double double. He's only getting 25 minutes a game. His num his minutes should increase as the season goes on, uh, but even at this price, uh, his numbers dictate a, a good uh, pick. Next, we have a uh, Randall at sixty one hundred, who's a double double. Uh, last two out of I'm sorry, he's had a double double uh, last two of his last three games, and he had fifty seven points last game. Uh, he's a killer right now, and he's always a fantasy threat on the court. And I love his matchup tonight. So last for power forwards, we have Williams at 4,500, who is an absolute steal uh, for this price. He's playing 35 minutes and averaging 30 points a game right now. So if you're looking for a sm uh, cheap power forward, I'm going with him tonight. And as far as centers, um, I like Drummond as well. I should uh, I should mention he's not on here, but um, I'm going to go with Vucevic, who shoots very well and is a blocks and rebounds machine. He's playing 35 minutes a game. And uh, he's a lot cheaper than uh, Drummond. So at 7,700, I, I think he's capable of putting up similar points and I'll allow you to buy high elsewhere. So so lastly, let's move on to my NBA picks for the night. Um, I think that the Hornets plus three and a half is uh, the game I'll be betting for two units tonight. Uh, the Bulls are playing at Charlotte and the uh, Hornets are only plus three and a half. And I think this is a classic spot where the home team or the uh, away favorite should be favored by like a little more, like five and a half, five. Uh, much like last night's pick where the Rockets were plus four at home against OKC and they won outright, that line probably should have been about five and a half. And I think that this is proven by usually the money and the public going heavily on the away favorite uh, at a low line. But I think the line really indicates is that they're a little stronger in those spots than they look. So. I'm going to go with the uh, Hornets uh, at home, plus three and a half. I think they're going to win outright. And I think Kemba Walker has a big game here. So I'm happy to go against the 88% of the public and go against the green and take Charlotte here. So good luck tonight, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow.